ladies and gentlemen, it's coming to America too. Huh. And um, I'm not sure who I am channeling tonight, but if you all remember the princess who was asked to back like a dog, Yes, I got her hair on tonight. Coming on to America too. It's a vibe. It's such a cruise. Feel good to the core. And Nigeria and every other African country well represented. I'm, ex I'm just excited. You know, Coming to America is a wonderful movie. Like childhood memory and they're bringing it back. Wow. -woo. And I know I won't be disappointed because film one is involved. And I know anything film one is involved, you won't be disappointed. That Mika was going to be queen. A woman isn't allowed to rule Zamunda. It's the law. Did it ever occur to you that Mika wanted to be your heir? Domzano Mbata, my South African media queen, is playing lead in this movie. Baby girl, I'm rooting for you all the way. David Doe is in it. So I like the fact that everyone was included, every tribe. And it's not only going to celebrate Africa, but it's also going to put Africa on the map. And we're also excited about the fact that this movie is not only changing the narrative, but it is also going to rewrite history. That's going to be a movement. It's going to be a cultural phenomenon. I'm so excited about it. I hear the movie has started. Ha! Ah, I'm coming back to the cinema tomorrow. Me. I don't care how much the tickets is. My big Bogo family, wa, we shall watch Coming to America too. And then again, I think it's also a movie that not only celebrates culture, not only celebrates wealth, because you know, hey, to those that have that perception that Africans are subjected to the jungle, they live in huts, <laughs> watch Coming to America 1 and you have a rethink about that. Yes. <music> be found. I am super, super, super excited. This is so beautiful for our culture and I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm excited about the fact that the Gen Z generation, the millennials, 
will definitely have something to pass on to the next generation. Because 33 years ago, I'm going to be 40 this year, so I am very in tune with coming to America one too well. I still watched it like a few weeks ago. And you see, when you tell the Gen Z guys about coming to America one, they're like, what's that? But this is a movie for them. And this is also a movie that has all the cultural appropriacy in the world. Why? Because this year, there was a lot of inclusivity. I like where, where um, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy's dad told him he was going to get married to a lady, and the lady went to meet Eddie Murphy, some, I think in the room or in the sitting room, and Eddie Murphy asked the lady to back like a dog, and she did it, I'm like, oh. And the way she is like, go, I like that. No one here can know I am royalty. You must appear to be no different than the average man. I will not say a word. We require a room that is very poor. Damn shame what they did to that dog. We will take the room. I was very young, but I think it was a classic in my house. My father, everybody loves the movie. So it was something I we watched over and over again. It was never old. Till date, it's not an old movie to, to me, because I've been watching it on, online. I've been still streaming it. So I love it a lot. Davido and that Chaku Chaku dance. What? That was all I waited for. Just our song and Chaku Chaku. Or Zanku, anyone. And when I saw those two, my, my, my night was made. That was it. That was all I wanted. That was all I wanted. Keep watching, Goldmine. Goldmine. Mwah.